Those who follow you, Lord, have the light of life. Happy second week of Advent. In today's readings for this Friday, we see the Lord reminding us that he is wisdom, he is truth, and he invites us to follow him and to experience right, his love in a new way and to respond to the wisdom that he wants to give us, right? that we might come to know the Father's love through that. And is this not the reason for the incarnation, right? Christ became flesh, as the catechism tells us, for four main reasons. First, that we might come to know God's love for us, that we might be reconciled with God, to be a model of holiness for us, and finally, to be partakers in his divine nature. That's the reason for the incarnation, right? Christ came that we might know God's love, be reconciled to God and come to know God so that we might right, have all that he wants to give us. And what a beautiful gift as we continue in this Advent journey. As we continue this week, let us meditate on Christ who is the word that dwelt among us, that we might come to know God's love in a new way. And echoing the words from our first reading that the Redeemer can teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. May the Lord continue to speak to our hearts, to guide us and to lead us. And may we just sit in his presence and meditate on his word that we might experience his truth, his wisdom, his peace, and ultimately his love. Remember, you are loved. I'll be praying for you this week, and I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.